Do you want to go to Rhodes? Then you've come to the correct place because we'll show you where to go in this video. The video includes various exciting activities, the best destinations to visit in Rhodes, and a number of tips and tricks. So buckle up, finish this video, and take some notes because we're about to unravel this place. So what should you do in Rhodes and where should you stay? Let's begin with the island's best things to do. Ready your body for an exciting activity by climbing to the Lindos Acropolis. The Acropolis of Lindos, located above the modern village of Lindos, is one of Greece's most important archaeological sites. The Citadel's castle of the Knights of St. John was established in the 14th century to defend the island against the Ottomans on the foundations of existing Byzantine fortifications. The Citadel, on the other hand, has a much longer history. Following this deep footpath, you will come across a 2nd century BC ship carved into the rock. The Temple of Athena Lindia, built in the 14th century BC, is identifiable at the top by its Doric columns. The view from the Acropolis, which stands 160 meters, 381 feet above sea level, is breathtaking. Bring a hat and a bottle of water if you visit during the summer because there is almost no shade. After your cultural exploration, head to Lindos Beach to cool off in the Mediterranean's turquoise waters. Be prepared for the mind-blowing facts by visiting the Rhodes Archaeological Museum. The main archaeological museum on the island is located in the Hospital of St. John, a late Gothic complex with a two-story arcaded courtyard. A striking late Hellenistic tomb monument with a lion holding a bull's head between its paws stands in front of the Western Arcade, a Byzantine mosaic from the early Christian Basilica of Carpatha on the island of Carpathos stands in front of this. Another outstanding piece to seek out is the 1st century BC statue of the crouching Aphrodite, which is based on the famous Hellenistic representation of Aphrodite attributed to the Doidalsis two centuries before. There are also vases and sculptures from Cameros, as well as amazing mosaics, stalls and capitals, as well as medieval tombs for knights and coats of arms, collected from various buildings throughout the city. The Archaeological Museum is housed in a medieval building lined with porticos, which was originally the Hospital of the Knights of St. John. The museum displays artifacts from various periods of the island's history, including classical, Hellenistic, and Roman sculptures. Spend some time admiring the Hellenistic period mosaic floors in the museum's courtyard. Up, up for exercising your mind by trying to investigate the Valley of the Butterflies. Explore the blissful spa sanctuary of Galathea's Thermal Springs, pay a visit to the ancient remnants of the Fa Ramos Monastery, and make a stop at the Butterfly Valley, the tourist highlight. The Valley of the Butterflies is a natural paradise located about 26 kilometers from the town of Rhodes. From June to September, this area is home to millions of butterflies, as the name suggests. This 600-acre nature park is a wonderfully peaceful place to walk among trees, streams and waterfalls, providing the ideal tranquil environment for butterflies to reproduce. Complete your visit to the Natural History Museum at the valley's entrance and try not to make too much noise to disturb the butterflies. The park has a number of walking trails, pools and waterfalls, making it an ideal location for connecting with nature. You can sip some delicious Rhodian wine at the end of your tour. Next is a fun-filled activity. At Embanas, you can sample local wine. Embanas is an agricultural village located 50 kilometers, 31 miles southwest of Rhodes Town at the foot of the island's highest peak, Ataviros. When it comes to tasting locally produced wines, the village is a one-stop shop. There are several vineyards in the area, thanks to an ideal climate for high-quality grapes, and many of these wineries are open to the public. Explore local wine varieties, like a theory and meet the friendly vineyard owners who are always willing to explain the local winemaking methods. Check the vineyard's opening hours before your visit to ensure you don't miss out. Of course, you don't want to miss out to explore the historic Night Street. Of course, a stroll down Night Street is a must-do while in Rhodes. 
This cobblestone street transports you back in time with medieval ancient structures still visible. Take the east-west route and walk along the long, charming road that connects the port to the Acropolis of Rhodes. You'll pass a 15th-century Knights Hospital of St. John, the Archaeological Museum, and the Grand Master's Palace on your way. In addition, there are shops, cafes, an old tavern, and restaurants. And don't forget to bring your camera in case you want to take some amazing photos. Ready yourself for an exciting activity in Prisonesi Surf, a stretch of coast and roads far south is unlike any other on the island. The tidal island of Prisonesi is connected to the mainland by a long sandbar. When the tide is high in the winter, this can disappear completely underwater, leaving Prisonesi stranded. In the summer, visitors hike on the island, a nature reserve, and sit on a beach with water on both sides. The beach is exposed to sea breezes, and wind surfer sails are common. Less experienced water sports enthusiasts prefer the more sheltered east flank, which is inviting shallow water. Meanwhile, experienced wind surfers and kite surfers prefer the west side and its rolling waves. Prisonesi is the southernmost point of roads because of the wind conditions. The peninsula ends in a small island known as Prisonesi Green Island, and the beach here is ideal for surfing and kite surfing. A number of surf shops provide lessons and equipment rental, or you can simply relax and watch the surfers. The sand is fine and soft. Prisonesi is popular with families due to its soft sand and shallow waters. Make your night unforgettable by going to Faliriki's Night Live. Faliriki is the best place to go if you enjoy non-stop partying. Rhodes is well known for its night life, and the Faliriki Resort has played an important role in this. There are a variety of drinking establishments here, including cocktail bars, karaoke bars, and dance clubs. The party lasts until the early morning. If you prefer a more relaxed night out, this area also has sophisticated bars for a casual cocktail or a drink. In any case, Faliriki is an unforgettable experience. After a long day of taking a trip, you deserve to spend the day on Simi Island. There are plenty of musty attractions on roads, but it would be a shame to overlook the neighboring island off Simi. Get your boat ticket from Roadsport and board a one and a half hour ferry to the small picturesque island where you'll be greeted with an idyllic scene. The slopes surrounding Yola's Harbor adorned with neoclassical buildings with colorful facades, creating an amphitheater-like effect. Take advantage of the opportunity to stroll through the town's narrow streets and eat fresh fish at the tavernas that line the island's small harbor. Lastly, this cool and fun sunbathe on the beautiful Agave Beach. If you're looking for a family vacation while bathing in a sun-soaked beach, head to Agathy Beach on Rhodes Island's eastern coast. The secluded beach with inviting turquoise blue water and a mountainous backdrop offers shallow swimming areas, cozy camping spots, and facilities such as nearby restaurants. The beach is also great as snorkel with beautiful underwater rock formations and marine life. If you walk to the end of the beach, you'll come across a 700-year-old chapel with a white painted facade. A 15-minute walk will take you to the fishing village of Araki. For a variety of reasons, Rhodes Island has undoubtedly attracted a large number of tourists from all over the world. This secluded island has so much to offer, from its rich history and culture to its surreal landscape. Rhodes is large enough to keep you occupied for at least two weeks. Day trips to other nearby islands, Chaki and Castel Arizzo, are also possible if time allows. You can also go to Marmaris on the Turkish coast. While you're planning your trip, check out the activities mentioned a while ago. Go book your trip to Rhodes, Greece now. So what is your favorite thing to do in your city? Ours is definitely the Prisonesi Surf. Please leave a comment of your choice. Again, we are the Travel Pug, your guide and forever travel buddy. If you enjoyed and loved this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to this channel. Put in the bell so you are notified of all upcoming videos from Travel Pug. Thanks for watching. Bye.